back 64,000 years. The yeah, archaeologists have found drawings on cave walls of bows and arrows 64,000 years old. But in the Americas, they only go back about 2,500 years, 500 years before Christ. They were making bows and arrows just like I'm going to tell you. These are important because they have to be accurate. They have to be consistent. And to get them consistent, you have to use the same material every time you make one. Here are three different types of material. This one is ash. This is what I use to make my arrows. I like ash. This is a little prairie plum. It's a little yellow prairie plum. And this is real dense and hard wood. This is dogwood. It's hard to find. Choke cherry works. Almost any kind of a, a long shoot, except for the weak ones like uh, willow. They don't work out. They break. With a strong bow, they'll just snap from the shoot. OK, any one of these materials will make a good, good arrow. But you cannot mix them because they have different <coughs> personalities, properties. They have different uh, uh, properties. OK. The little prong, prairie plum is real stiff. It's a hard, dense wood. It's real stiff. Dogwood is not quite that stiff, but it's still stiff. And the ash is a lot more flexible. And that flex is really important. When you shoot this arrow around the bow, it tries to go to the center of this, this end that I'm holding. tries to go to the center of the bow. And when it does, it kicks that arrow out to the side. And when that happens, the arrow flexes. And watch this. That thing will flex back and forth five or six times before it straightens out. That flex is important. 